Hey there with AgriSpray Drones. If you are interested in a small sprayer drone, then you probably have seen the T20P. You looked at videos about that. You've probably seen the T25 and you've tried to find videos on that. You're trying to decide, well, what's the difference and which one is better for me? Well, when we say small drone, we're talking about a five gallon payload drone, a drone that still weighs over a hundred pounds at takeoff. So it's not really a small drone. It's just smaller than a T40 or a T50. Why would you be looking at a drone that is half the size of T40 or T50? Well, maybe you have small fields. Maybe you wanna do spot spraying, where you're moving from one field to the next all day long, and you want something that can fit in the back of a pickup with your mixed up product ready to spray, with your generator, all that kind of stuff. And both of these drones, you can do that with much better than you can do that with a T50 or a T40. But that's kind of where the similarities end between the 25 and the 20P. So let's take a look at both of these drones here just to show you what the differences are, what the similarities are, and why you might choose a 25 over a 20P. Let's get to it. So first off, you're gonna see a difference in size. And size is really only height. So the T25 is gonna be a bit taller than the T20P by about six inches or so. And that's the height of the props off of the ground and the height of the tank off the ground, the height of the battery going into the drone. With the T20P filling the drone, if you're my size anyway, you kind of have to bend over um, to do that. But it does make putting a battery in there a little bit easier than a T25. Just a little bit taller right here. Honestly, not that big of a deal. Why isn't it that big of a deal? Well, because both of these drones have incredible flight times. With one T30 battery, and yes, I did say T30 battery, that's this battery right here. This is the battery that we tend to use and we tend to recommend whenever you're operating a 25 or a 20P, the T30 battery. With one of the T30 batteries, you can get three, sometimes even four tank loads per battery charge, meaning you fill the drone three times as often as you do this. So battery swaps really aren't that important in either one of these drones. Battery charging isn't that important because you can charge the battery as fast as you use it on either of these drones as long as you have a C10,000 charger and you run at about three quarter power. So batteries aren't that big of a deal and the flight times are really about the same with both of these drones. Honestly, I kind of prefer the tank height on the 25 a little bit better. It's just a much more natural feel whenever you're filling that tank a lot more often with a small tank, you will fill it more often. Once every about uh, three and a half to five minutes, you're filling the tank on either one of these drones. Okay, let's get into a bit more of the hardware. We'll fold these drones out and we'll take a look. So they both fold out exactly the same. They are both quadcopters with four arms, four props, four motors, four ESCs, just like that. And the outsides are the same. The props are actually exactly the same. Same exact props on both of these. Uh, ESCs are different. The 25 has an upgraded ESC. It's a bigger ESC with actually more cooling fins on the, on the bottom side of this ESC. We only have about an inch worth here, or we have about three or four inches worth of cooling fins here. Um, meaning that reliability on the power system with the 25 is going to be better. Okay, now let's look at the radar system on both of these drones. So here you can see the front radar on both the drones. This does your forward, side, and upward optical detection. And it's pretty easy to see the difference here. T25 is quite a bit bigger than the T20P. Bigger radar means it can see obstacles better. Not only that, but we have two sets of binocular cameras on the fifth or the 25 versus one set on the 20P. So forward detection, sideward detection, upward detection on obstacles is much better. As we spin around to the back, there's our rear and terrain following radar. On the 25 and on the 20P, this 
is our radar. You can barely see it. Much bigger radar for downward and backward obstacle detection and terrain following on the 25 means that terrain following is significantly improved on the 25 over the 20p. Slopes 30 degrees, not a problem. Even steeper than that, we've seen the 25 climb them without an issue, whereas the T20P, you have to slow down quite a bit to get that job done on those steeper slopes. And as we have these drones flipped around here, we'll look at the spray system. So this is the end of the spray system. You can see very similar nozzle designs here, rotary atomizers, this is the same on all the new DJI drones. The only difference that we have here is we've got a solenoid shutoff valve on the 25, meaning no drips, whereas the 20P actually uses, uh, if I can get it to do it, there we go, it actually goes up and down and it chokes off the flow with a gasket. So more reliable uh, shutoff system uh, to prevent dripping on the 25. Uh, everything else on the spray system here is pretty similar. Now, as we spin around a bit further, you can see the pumps on both these drones. There's our pumps here and here. Motors are the same, but the impeller is different. So the impeller on the 25 is actually a little bit larger. If I can pull it off, I can maybe show you guys. There's our impeller on the 25. Yes, that is just antifreeze, no worries. And we'll get our impeller off on the 20P. There you go. So you can see a larger impeller on the 25 versus the 20P. What does that mean? Well, that means we get a higher flow rate, an extra gallon per minute flow rate out of the 25. So about 4.2 gallons per minute out of the 25 and about 3.2 gallons per minute out of the 20p. You can actually increase that even more on the 25 by adding nozzles on the front. There's a kit where you can put nozzles on the front arms and get up to 6.4 gallons per minute output, double that of the 20p. So if you're doing high volume work, let's say orchard or vineyard uh, type operations, uh, or you just want to blast it through a canopy and do high volume, then the 25 is going to be a much better drone for high volume work because of the improvement in the impeller size. Everything else in the spray system is exactly the same. We have scales on both drones that are the same. Um, and we have valves and we have uh, flow meters that are exactly the same. So if it's up to me and I was choosing between one of these drones or the other, I would get a T25. The added features that we just went over make it far and above a much better drone with the same form factor as the 20p and much better hardware with improved software it's just an all-around much better small drone if you guys would like to see a demo of a t25 reach out to us we have dealers nationwide that can get you set up with a drone that can train you that can get you licensing and get one of these on your farm if you are looking for a solution for air application in 2025. Thanks guys, see ya.